What's up everybody, it's what Jim, and I'm going to give my thoughts on the Game Awards for 2022. This video also will contain spoilers for the Game Awards as well. There were in total 32 awards given out, and this event was on the 8th of December, 2022, and out of the 32 awards given, I got 12 right. And what's weird and crazy about that is the fact that I got 12 right in 2020 and 2021, and they were the only years I voted for the Game Awards. Hopefully 2023 will be the fourth year in a row I get 12 right, or if I don't get 12 right, hopefully I get more right next time. Before I talk about what won the Game of the Year for 2022, I'm going to give my thoughts on the overall event. And this is where the spoilers will be coming in because I'll be talking about some of the game trailers we saw in the Game Awards for 2022. There were lots of awards being given out. There was also a lot of trailer reveals as well. The ones that stuck out to me the most was seeing another trailer for Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League. But this time Batman was in it, played by Kevin Conroy, who played Batman in the animated series and in the Arkham games. And this would be the last time he would be portraying the character. Rest in peace to you, Kevin Conroy. The other game reveals that I was really, really pleased about was seeing what the new Crash Bandicoot game is going to be, and it's going to be called Crash Team Rumble. And for nearly a couple of years, there's, there's been hints of a new Crash Bandicoot game, and I'm glad that, that there is going to be one finally coming out again. And this Crash game will be one that hopefully my dad and my sister will all play together, we all play, Crash Team Racing Nitro Fuel together, so hopefully we all do the same for Crash Team Rumble. The final game reveal that I was really, really pleased about was seeing another trailer for Star Wars Jedi Survivor, and all these three games I mentioned, I will be doing reviews for all of them. I quite like the first Star Wars Jedi game, and I'm looking forward to going ahead and playing this one, as I'm a big Star Wars fan. I enjoyed all the speeches that the winners were giving out, I also enjoyed hearing the orchestra, once again in this live stream and the live stream was six hours but I was skipping through a lot a lot a lot of it as not all of it interested me but now I'll give my thoughts on the game of the year winner and you can see my Kratos soft toy behind me and that's that's a clue of what video game I wanted to win and that was God of War Ragnarok but the actual winner of the game of the year was Elden Ring and I've actually got both games but I've not played Elden Ring yet, but I've heard really, really great things about it. IGN gave it a 10 out of 10, and they, they, they don't really give 10 out of 10s often, so I'm really looking forward to playing Elden Ring, I just haven't got to it yet. I think it's the fact that it's just such a really long game, that I just don't want to do a really, really long game yet, but I'm, I'm starting God of War Ragnarok, I went, I went on it yesterday for the first time, I'm absolutely loving it, I love it just as much as the God of War PS4 game from 2018. And that, that one game of the year for 2018, still congratulations to Elden Ring and congr congratulations to all the games that won the award and commiserations to the games that didn't get the, the award that they were after, but there is, there is always next year. But probably the thing I didn't like about the live stream the most is that Horizon Forbidden West, a game that I thought was, was amazing, it didn't get any award and I feel like it, it definitely deserved at least one award. So that was a bit of a shame, but... That's what we were going to say about the, my thoughts, though, on the Game Awards for 2022. I really, really enjoyed it, and I'll link the IGN live stream of the Game Awards in the description below. And I want to thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Keep playing video games. Until next time, ciao.